why is religion key for addressing what we've been saying? So we've articulated the need for liberation and explored a little bit of um, the various forces that create the need for it. Why is religion part of this? Or why should religion be part of this? I know that's something both of you think about and talk about a lot. Jörg, why don't you start us off on this? Uh, yeah, Jeremy, thank you for that question. Uh, obviously, uh, that's the work that we're doing as theologians. We, we reflect on religion. Uh, and oftentimes, you know, if you do the work that we're doing, uh, you're, you're wondering uh, what good is religion in the first place, because we also see that religion is part of the problem. Uh, maybe that's where we have to start. Um, that's where I always start, uh, not because I want to get stuck with the problem, but really I want to see what is the solution. And so when you ask the question, how is uh, you know, religion uh, key to the solution, we, we, we look at the problem as well. Um, there was a major essay uh, about 50 years ago now, 1967, uh, Lynn White wrote this piece basically talking about Christianity as being a major cause of all uh, the ecological problems of modernity because he said Christianity is the most anthropocentric religion that the world has ever seen. And that means, you know, the most human-centered, the most self-centered perhaps religion that the world has ever seen. Uh, and, and there is some evidence to that, you know, uh, where religion, uh, by focusing so much on humanity, uh, has really um, created uh, part of the problem by, by disregarding, misregarding nature. And then you have other religious forms that look mostly to heaven instead of uh, to earth. 